gastroenterologist is an ophthalmologist who specialized in the diagnosis, management, and then subsequently care of patients with eye tumors. Ocular oncology is a very rare subspecialty in that most of us will have additional training. In my case, I have been trained as a retina in vitro retinal surgeon, and that really helps me to manage the most challenging cases that we see in the back of the eye involving important structures like the optic nerve, the retina, and the choroid. Many patients with eye cancer will have no signs or symptoms. If the tumor is outside the axial vision pathway, what happens is patients will have something hidden in there that is both painless and harmless to their vision directly. That's why it's very important to have annual dilated eye exams. Some people that have their tumors around the focusing point, which is the fovea or the optic nerve, may have blurred vision. That would be the main symptom. Very rarely will patients have pain, only when the tumor is so large that is both stretching the eye walls and causing high pressure in the eye. We have a lot of very innovative and novel treatments for eye cancer. Starting with the children here, we do intra-arterial chemotherapy, which is a special way to deliver chemotherapy straight into the back of the eye. This minimizes the side effects that a child would have during chemotherapy, such as fever, getting sick, a lot of times anemic. So if you do have a child with retinoblastoma, definitely consider this kind of treatment. In addition for uveal melanoma or ocular melanoma, we here do customized radiation with small radioactive plaques that we can really create in a way that will both fit the size and shape of the tumor as well as the thickness and architecture of that tumor. Finally, one thing that we did develop here at University of Miami Bascom Palmer Institute and are very proud of is all the prognostic testing currently available for choroidal melanoma or uveal melanoma. This Advanced testing involves a small fine needle aspiration biopsy of your tumor and can very certainly predict the risk you have of showing up with tumor elsewhere and consequently having health issues that can unfortunately ultimately take your life. So if you are going to have your ocular melanoma treated, always ask your ophthalmologist about prognostic testing and fine needle aspiration biopsy.